there is a green light of HIV cure from our sister country, South Africa. In fact, this is a good news to the entire African continent and the whole wide world. But my question here is, is this the first time an African country is coming out with a cure of a particular disease? Will it be accepted? Stay tuned and watch this video to the end as we dive deep to know whether it will be accepted or not. This is the Lab Doctors channel. Please kindly subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share, comment, and let's do this together. Not long ago, a report from Ghana AIDS Commission indicated, and I quote, 50 people contract HIV daily in Ghana, unquote. Most people thought this was a joke, whilst others made funny videos around this report. But the truth is that we those who are in the health sector or health facilities can attest to the fact that there is a rise of HIV among the youth and the whole Ghanaians at large. Over the years, a lot of companies such as Gillette Science, American Gen Technologies, ST Farms, and other countries have tried their possible best to come out with a cure for the deadly disease HIV AIDS. But none of their studies have been successful. So the big question is, will South Africa succeed? What is different about South African HIV cure trial? Let's dive into this. From World Health Organization, since the beginning of HIV pandemic, 88.4 million people have been affected, where 42.3 million people have died. As at 2023, 39.9 people were living with HIV AIDS. Even though HIV AIDS is considered to be chronic disease, yet it is very sad and disturbing to be a person living with HIV AIDS considering the stigma and where you have to take medications every day of your life. So the good news is here. The good news is that there is a green light of HIV cure from our sister country, South Africa. Africa. In fact, they are not the only country to have conducted research on HIV cure, but their HIV cure research conducted looks promising and positive. So let's dive into this. HIV trial conducted in Durban in South Africa has demonstrated promising results in achieving antiretroviral therapy. I mean free viral control. The trial shows 20% of participants remain off ART and virally suppressed after one and a half years. This was presented in San Francisco in the United States of America during a conference of ritual viral and opportunistic infections. Reports indicate that this HIV cure trial looks very promising and very positive. So the big question here is, will it be accepted by World Health Organization? Will it be accepted globally? Is this the first time an African country has conducted a research on a cure of a particular disease or infection? If there is any, was it accepted? And if it wasn't accepted, was it genuinely rejected? This is a general question for all of us to ponder and answer for ourselves. HIV AIDS was a terminal disease until 1984 when it was declared chronic. What it means is that it can be managed just like diabetes, hypertension, and other diseases. So we have HIV drugs which affected persons take these drugs daily and it has been proven to be very effective, reducing viral load effectively. Although ART drugs have been proven very effective, it comes with its own side effect. A long-term side effect is very dangerous, so it can result into liver and kidney damage. Although all these interventions are available, yet it is very important for us to get a permanent cure for HIV AIDS. Looking at the stigma around it and how it affects an infected person's immune system, to South Africans, we are very proud of you and then we are hoping that this doesn't just end here. But it goes on to be accepted worldwide so that our brothers and sisters who are victims will be cured permanently. You are watching the Lab Doctors channel. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share and comment. You can also find us on TikTok at the Lab Doctor, on Twitter and then Instagram.